Okay, so we are back on the part two. We already get the ECU. We already plug and play. Uh, this ECU, what we bought, actually, it's already done the emo off. So it's made just to plug and play. So you just install the ECU. You don't need actually do anything because there is original software inside. And uh, only what is done, it's immobilizer is turned already off. So that means actually we don't need to do online coding. Uh, we don't need to do actually anything. We just plug and play. That's the that's the way how it can be done. So we installed the ECU already. We test the dot, start the car. Everything is okay. Uh, but we have a check engine light. We just uh, connect the diagnostic system, and uh, that's because in this ECU everything is 100% originally. In this ECU, how the owner of a car said, it was already done a chip tuning, stage one. So that is the one thing what we need to do. But another thing, let's see the faults. The faults we have basically for the DPF filter. So after connecting, basically even after starting the car, we have a check engine light there. But as you can see, we can definitely see what kind of faults we have on. Uh, if we start from the down, then the see EGR vacuum regulator solenoid valve open circuit so that means EGR is being remapped the another fault exhaust gas temperature sensor bunk one sensor three this is open it so that means this is definitely being remapped diesel particle filter uh, back pressure sensor differential sensor basically then it's intake manifold runners and again exhaust gas and again intake manifold runners so that means everything is already being remapped uh, because the car was pretty fine all was going good so in this point when we install back the original ECU with the original factory software that means everything is need to be done again in the used one because we can't clone it because the old one is completely bad it's burnt so that's not possible to restore it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna reprogram the ECU now so we are moving forward like I said we do like to make a diagnostics on the table so in this side again the launch connected here we go the diagnostics the used one another ECU which one is correctly working as you can see uh, it can be swapped over so what actually you have to know about it is the main thing is the Bosch number actually the Bosch number have to be the same if you have the same Bosch number everything will be cool look this is the used one and this is the old one the perfect fit this number is actually not so important but in our case it fits as well so everything is pretty cool you have a k number uh, k k letter on edc 16 so in here it says just old one is edc 16 cp and another one we have a edc 16 cp 34 so this is a software number look 103 9s 26011 so that's a software number in here and this we have software number in here as you can see that can be different so that's not a problem at all and then we can have a producing gear look this is in here and uh, that's actually is all so uh, we already connected by this diagram look it's everything in here it's a Bosch EDC 16 CP34 we have a can line we have a K line and all is connected there so let's go ahead and just click the Audi button click OK and we see how it's gonna look like so it's blinking it's connecting and it's proceeding so what we need to do we need a system selection so we just select uh, engine control module and everything is okay it have to be connected right away yes it's fine very good we have an engine control module we have a Audi part number which one is on the top that's a Audi number and then we have a system description 30 v60 di engine then we have a software version ECU coding and workshop mode so we just click OK and what we can do look we are inside of electronic control unit so we can see it read DTC of course nothing is now connected yes the only diagnostics is connected we have plus minus and um, all that stuff so there is a fault definitely it says data bus drive try no communication uh, fuel pressure sensor it's no communication that's everything because is everything unplugged and the same if we go into the actual where is a read uh, data stream we have a list 
So read by list, we click something in and let's go ahead and just click, uh, read it, everything. Look, coolant temperature minus 45.4 degrees. So actually, yeah, it's, it's nothing can be shown because everything is, of course, everything is disconnected from the ECU and that's the reason why. So anyway, this is the way how you can test if your electronic control unit goes to the diagnostics and if the diagnostic can see it. So in this point, we know it, it sees, so we just switch that thing off, pull these all wires out, we don't need, ah, and of course, yes, I put the resistor in the can uh, high and can low line, which is 120 ohms, to read all the out, and um, now we're gonna ream up this ECU, make a software for it, with the chip tuning, and DPF, EGR, uh, swirl flaps, and stuff like that. So we are connected again, how it have to be, and we're reading all out, so normally this is how it should look like. So you have external flash, you have MPC, you have reading ECU micro protection, and all that stuff it looks like here. It's you can see there is a EEPROM for the cloning and stuff like that. And to do immobilizer off, of course, if you need it, because immo locked inside of a EEPROM stuff. So we just go ahead and click now the ECU read button. What we need, we need tuning file DTF. So here we go, we're pushing the full the way file into the system. But till we're writing all in, and uh, just go ahead and go all the way through the file. Um, I just click the next button and you will just follow what it has and just go very quick through and you will see all the way around, all the way from the start to the end with the file. So let's go. So as you can see, how much there was changing. Let's go again back. So you, if you have some questions for some places, just click the stop button and you will have to look and then just give a shout. We can try to explain what else of these is actually got because every of these maps can be actually open it and you can see them pretty easy. For example, guess what kind of map is that? And I can tell you that's called the driver wish map. So yeah, all those maps we can go through, all those maps we can see what there is, what some there is, what they do, exactly how they do, how they work, and stuff like that. But this is another course. So now let's go and see the test drive. But before the test, what we need to do, definitely, we need to install the electronic control unit back in the place where it was and probably cover it to not make sure <laughs> to make sure to not water get in so after the test drive we basically yeah tested the stage one all is just perfect we have good enough power and we tested out the dpf egr and swirl flop stuff this all working correctly there is a no fault in the engine control system there is some fault in central electronics but most of here is no any faults in this audi q7 so everything is cool um, then conclusion, all of that, what can I say? Uh, actually, we did find, uh, we did find out till we've been asking the ECU, uh, then the, this kind of modules, there is a problem with the electronic control unit. Probably the, all of these can be problem because the electronic control unit, the, the location, as you saw, it's not the best place where to hold it because there is a water, snow, and then everything, basically, it's outside of a body, so electronic control unit located outside of a body is in pretty danger I would say um, but these actually models is uh, faulty these engine control units it's problem to find them so our ECU cost a lot actually it's uh, almost half a grand and uh, close to the yeah so that's pretty expensive uh, this ECU is problem it's pretty hard to find them exactly with this kind of module so Mm, what can I say? You have to watch out your ECU on your Q7 and probably in any Audi or in even any car uh, to make sure this is not in the moist room, not in a wet place. Uh, but uh, there is nothing you can do about that. It just it is where it is. You can try to make some box or something like that, but uh, you must not cover it in some uh, plastic. If you cover in something, uh, then if moisture I'm gonna get in, it will be even worse. So uh, if you make some cover, you have to make sure that every time it's, there is a good ventilation and everything is dry. So 
definitely I can say uh, this is the finish of uh, part two. Uh, this is a finish of this problem. So yeah, we did find the ECU. The ECU was already IMO off and just plug and play, all go. And uh, basically, yes, there was nothing more just to tune and do the remap only. So all other we don't need to do online coding, nothing like that. So in this point, I will say uh, thanks for watching. Mm, don't forget to click that subscribe button, give a comment, give a like. Uh, and yes, this is a uh, this will give us more push uh, to make uh, new videos and stuff like that. Ask questions, mm, definitely. We try to answer as much as we can and keep following us. See you in the next video. Bye.